what's up, man? I'm gonna I'm drop the whole thing when it comes to Devin Haney. I just got a couple more things to say, but I'm gonna I'm leave it alone, you know what I'm saying? Because I said, I think I spoke all I really need to speak. But I just want to say, man, you know, a lot of times, man, you know, you don't really hear a lot of this stuff from a lot of these boxers besides the the ones that's trolling Devin Haney, like Tia Fimo and Ryan Garcia. But the rest of the boxers, they giving Devin Haney his props because, you know why? Because they actually been in the ring. They, they know how it is in the ring. A lot of these dudes commenting, they don't know how it is in the ring. They never been in there. Like I said, a lot of them never been in, even in a fist fight. It's a fight, you're gonna get hit in a fight. That's why it's called boxing. You could be the you could be the most crafty dude, you're gonna get hit. Floyd was one of the best defensive fighters out here. He got wobbled and rocked and then he overcame it. You know what I'm saying? It's how you handle it. It's not about getting hit, because you're gonna get hit. It's about how you overcome getting hit. That's it. it it's not it's not like he folded, he got hit, folded, went against the rope. Didn't want to come back off the seat, off the uh, out of his corner or nothing like that. He he, just, he did his thing, man, and he still was punching on Jorge Linares after he was hurt, and that's why I don't understand when people talking about he was holding. I'm like, bro, he was he was punching on homeboy the whole time. He clinched a couple of times when he felt like he had to clinch because it's, it's survival, bro. This is boxing, you know what I mean? Unlike what Nanito Denier, or like. Odali, he didn't do the same thing. He lost his belt. See what I'm saying? You see the contrast. You see the difference. But, you know, I, I just want people to stop giving Devin Haney so much slack, bro. He only 22 years old, man. He didn't even... He still, he's not even in his prime yet. He's still, he's still learning. He's not in his prime. All of these dudes are still learning, bro. I, I, don't, I don't disrespect really none of them. Only time I get on their ass is when, like, they call out other fighters and then... They do the same shit. Like, I would have never said really nothing about Ryan Garcia getting knocked down by Lil' Camel if he wasn't trying to clown Devin Haney. And I'm like, bro, how could you clown, how could you clown Devin Haney when you you face your own adversity, but you you got dropped? So you can't really say nothing about Devin Haney because he, he didn't get dropped. He didn't get dropped. You know what I'm saying? But he got the, he got the win. He kept his belt. That's what's important. A lot of people are now saying Tia Female stops Devin Haney. All right, cool. Like, let's see it. Let's see the fight. Let's see it. Tank stops Devin Haney. Okay, let's see it. All right, let's see it, man. Um, it's easy to just talk it, but like, like walk the walk. You know what I mean? Um, all of these dudes are still developing, man. All of them are still developing. Shakur Stevenson, Tank Davis, Tia Female Lopez, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. They're all still developing. And I don't even want you know what? I take that back. Ryan Garcia, get the fuck out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. Cause he's just a straight up. He's a he's a bozo. So um I don't respect him at all. I did like him, man. I like Ryan Garcia, bro. But then he started he started clout chasing and and acting like he's gonna fight fighters and ducking Devin Haney and other Man, get out of here, bro. You ain't intending on fighting nobody, bro. So um, I don't even want to consider him in that run, you know, anymore, unless he straightens up. But the rest of them, man, they they still growing, man. So you know, if they get touched up in a fight, it's this, you know, it, it depends. When they get older, you start seeing them get touched up in their thirties. Like, all right, they ain't really learn nothing. So then you could then you could say, all right, they they their their career is limited. You know, what I'm saying they, you already say that they hit their ceiling already. But these dudes is all like in their twenties. Like Devin Haney, I think he's the youngest one out of the whole group. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I wanted to say, man. Um, shout out to Devin Haney, Team Haney. Um, shit, man. Shout out to whole Hale Linares, bro. He went out for his, man. He went out. Um, there's some things Devin Haney does need to work on, but cause but they're all still young. They're still working. That's why. I, it's called step up fights. They need these fights like this to test, to gauge where they are. That's what it is. Um, Gary Ru Gary Antoine Russell, his so called step up fight was uh, Giovanni Santiago, and and he took him uh, extra two rounds than he's usually used to. He still iced him, you know, stopped him. 
So eventually as he moves up, he's gonna face some adversity. Gary Antoine ain't had his chin tested yet. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But from what I can see, I think the Russell's got chins. You know what I mean? I think the I seen Gary Russell hit with some things by some fighters, man. And I never I never really seen Gary Russell really wobbled like that. You know, but um yeah, shout out. Shout out to to, to, to boxers and you know as a whole, bro. Shout out. Cause it's a real sport. It's 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 dangerous. You gotta adjust to things and I think Devin Haney did good, bro. Um he never faced that before. So if he didn't close out the way we wanted him to close out, that's because he never faced that. Some some fighters is you know it depends. You know, um Ryan Garcia closed out Luke Campbell because Luke Campbell didn't have no real dog in him like Jorge Linares had a little bit more dog in him. Luke Campbell is not on the same level as Jorge Linares because Jorge Linares already beat Luke Campbell. He's not on the same level as him. So it was easier for Ryan Garcia to close out on Luke Campbell. And I think if Ryan Garcia would have got knocked down by Jorge Linares, either A, he wouldn't have got back up or B, he wouldn't have been able to stop him to the body like he did Luke Campbell. Guarantee that. So it's all about the levels of, of, of competition. Nonetheless, can't take nothing away from him, bro. Can't. Because he in there boxing for his life, and he's in there putting on the show for you and us. We got to show some kind of level of respect. All this exposed talk over getting punched one time, is that's nonsense. Know what I mean? So, and I know half of you, even if you did get into a real fight, when you got punched in your, if you got punched in a fight, so that must mean you've been exposed. That means every boxer that gets punched has been exposed. That means Tank Davis been exposed. Um, Floyd Mayweather was exposed. Errol Spence has been uh, exposed. Terrence Crawford has been exposed. Where do you get your logic from with that exposed shit? The minute you see a, a, a boxer get punched, he's exposed. As if you expect boxers to be immune to punches or some shit. It's funny when you think about it. But I'm off this. This is Rebel Life, man. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, man. Enjoy your day. Like and subscribe. I'm off this. Peace.